Hey, how's it going? My name is John and welcome to Fall Row. Hit that intro. Alright, we are back with some more Digimon Survive. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. We finally meet up with all of our friends. So it's time to have a little little get together. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. You look even older without your hat. I don't know why, you look like an entirely different person. <laughs> yeah, who knows how long it's been for them. Yeah, he's got the right attitude. Everything's fine. Everybody get off my back. Ten days? Holy shit. There's a lot of things wrong. Owie, so many things are wrong. Ten days? We were only gone for a few hours, though. Does time move that quickly here? I don't know about quickly, just separately, I guess, right? Because... If it moved faster, then the little girl wouldn't still be young, right? That's weird to th actually, yeah, now that I think about it. They should have, yeah, she should have been like, because if time moved faster here, she should be like, turned to dust by now, right? What's this insistence? Aoi, have you changed somehow? I assume she's the one that took over in my absence? Yeah, de facto leader, as it were? Okay. Makes sense. She's really the only person who could have taken over. Yeah, you tell him. Absolute girl boss shit. <laughs> that would have been funny if it gave me the opportunity to lie to them. <laughs> well, this conversation's happening. I need to drink some water, so... Here's a little friendly reminder, go ahead and get some hydration, get some snacks. You know, get comfortable, take care of yourself, check your posture, all that good stuff. It's important information to hear, even if I don't necessarily follow it myself all the time. I wouldn't say it moves slower. Like I said, it just moves separately, because it's simultaneously faster and slower, I guess, in a way. I don't know, man. I'm not like a quantum physicist. I don't know shit about how this stuff's supposed to work. If you want to explain it to me in the comments, I'd greatly appreciate it, but I'm not... I'm not expanding that much brain power to try and figure it out. I'm too tired. <laughs> 
元の世界に戻れたならどうしてもう一度この世界に帰ってこようと思ったの Literally because all of you are here. What else are we supposed to do? As long as I can save my friends, I guess, right? So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I still think it's funny they gave me an option. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah, I was about to say, like, what the fuck kind of attitude is that? He's like, she's probably dead. Let's move on. We literally need her to save the world, so... Maybe let's put in a little bit of energy towards that, maybe? <laughs> and another fade to black while we explain this? <laughs> maybe I should talk about how the worlds are connected first, then about Miyuki's song? Wait, I can't explain her power if I don't talk about the Manase family first. Is that too confusing though? Maybe talking about Piedmon and the gate would be easier. This amount of overthinking is relatable to me. Um... I guess... Oh man, I don't fucking know. This, I guess? しかみはわからないけど彼女の歌が Exactly, Mew. It's too late for that. What are you talking about, Kaito? Literally, we're all in danger all the time. Yeah, I'm aware. You guys have been fighting without me for 10 days. Are these two still arguing? Jesus Christ. Finally, we got some peacekeepers in the mix. Jesus. Thank God we have her in charge. <laughs> Is something wrong with the professor? Probably. 
He could suffer. He could have suffered brain damage from that fall off the bridge or the dam. He's also old. He could be senile. He's been through so much trauma and stress. Who even knows what could be wrong with him? Yeah, maybe Agumon isn't so stupid after all. Thank God we have you to watch my back, Agumon. Let's do it, I guess. Start here, I guess. Dang. I just can't relax for some reason. What are you all worked up about? I'm getting the heebie-jeebies for some reason. You guys don't feel it? Not a thing. What about the rest of you? Yeah, some something doesn't feel right. We keep sensing something weird over by the shrine, but then it just vanishes. There's nothing there if we go and check it out. No enemies, no trace of nothing. Still, it just doesn't feel right. There might be something here. Be careful, Takuma. Okay, I'll pay attention. This could be worse than I thought. What do you, we thought it was the end of the world. How could it be much worse than that? What are you talking about? How about we have a chat? Sure. Minoru. I sense a strange presence coming from the direction of the shrine. You mean like a bad guy vibe? It's too soon to say. Still, best be on our guard. You too, Takuma. Sure. Good looking out, Falcomon. No telling what's out there. We should take a look, just in case. Seems like we uh, know where to go. I don't know why we have to talk to everybody else. Takuma, man, to think you'd come back now spouting that stuff. All that about Miyuki being the key. You gotta be kidding. Sorry, Takuma. Bro seems kind of irritated for some reason. Okay. Kaito. Kaito! I forgot how to do his voice already. <laughs> Kaito! That's kind of more like it. I don't know. That's a hard word to say in his voice that I decided to give him for some reason. I figured I'd see how he's doing, but he's in a worse mood than I'd anticipated. You're just talking nonsense since you can't bear to let her go, right? You really think I'm capable of that? Listen and listen good. Miyuki's finished. Kaput. We gotta take down the boss and fast. Miyuki finished? What What are you saying? Exactly what I mean. Just look at her. Even you've gotta throw in the towel, right? Are you serious, Kaito? So if I was in her position, you'd do the same to me? No way! I'd never do that to you. I wouldn't let you get that way in the first place. I'll always protect you, you hear me? Always. You get it, don't you? You're weak. That's why I can't leave you on your own. And then those things out there would eat weaklings like you for breakfast. Even back then, you would have been fine. You would have been fine if you'd just stayed by my side. Back then? What's he talking about? I get the feeling I shouldn't ask. Still, I, I can't tell... 
I can tell he's getting too worked up. Maybe I should step in? Um... I don't know if either of these would even work, really. Oh, God. I guess I'll just leave him alone. I don't know what they're talking about. All the more reason not to say anything here. Now you've done it. I'm so over this. I'm not something you own, Kaito. I can't stand the idea of being protected by you forever. Don't you see? I'm getting strong enough to stand on my own two feet. Mew. I'm not the weak one here. You are, bro. You're the one depending on me. Ugh. Ugh. Kaito, he slapped Mew? I couldn't stop him in time. Jesus Christ. See? Just like I said. No, I... What did I... You only know how to solve things with violence. You just want an excuse to vent your anger and you use me to do it. I'm not... I'm not the one you stuck on what happened... What? I'm not the one stuck on what happened back then. You are. Mew... All I want to do is protect you. Protect what's important to me. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Hey, hey, what are you gonna do, Takuma? There's the voice, I found it again. I don't think there's anything I can do. Kaito and Mew, I don't know what happened with these two, so I don't know what to say. Also, to be fair, I think it was more important that she stood up for herself than just about anything else, right? Or maybe I'm wrong, I don't, whatever. That was intense, though. Jesus Christ. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, hey, Takuma, something wrong? Labramon! I'm looking for the professor. Have you seen him? The professor? Hmm, let's see. I think I saw him. He was heading towards the shrine, so I guess he's over by the altar. The altar, huh? Thanks for letting me know. Chuh, don't mention it. Aoi's doing her best to pull everyone together, so I've got to do my part. Aoi... Sounds like she's had a hard time. Yeah, you know, can... Con conscientious? Is that what that word is? Yeah, you know how conscientious she can be. She's taken so much on herself. But now that you're back, I can tell how relieved she is. That right. It's just, like you say... I've got to do my part, too, for Aoi and everyone. Yeah, that's the spirit. Spirit Airlines. This whole thing was just a commercial <laughs> this whole time. Okay. I guess we haven't talked to them, so let's go talk to them. Hey, Aoi, could you tell me more about what happened before? Did something happen to Miyuki? And and speaking of which, where's Haru? Uh... Do you remember how Haru fainted during the fight against Garuduman? Yeah, we left him in a corner of the factory for safekeeping. Right, so... After things finished up, we grabbed Haru and made it back here somehow. But... Then when he woke up, Haru was incredibly upset by Miyuki's absence. I can see that. Of course he'd be worried if his sister disappeared. By the next morning, Haru had disappeared too. He did? We think he went to look for Miyuki. His wounds hadn't even mended. Oh no. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? I'm afraid not. We looked everywhere for him, but... So Haru's gone too? Yes. We're all quite worried. I hate to think of such a small child going off on his own. 
Well, yeah. There's nothing we could do by ourselves here. To be honest, we've had our hands full just taking care of ourselves. Saki, that's... Well, I guess there's no point in splitting hairs. Like Saki says, it's taken everything just to stay alive. But Aoi kept us all together this whole time. You saved me a bunch too. No, that's not... Come on, no need to be modest, Aoi. Here's... Aoi here is amazing. What do you mean? You see how the pressure of the situation puts everyone on edge, right? That's why everyone is always at each other's throat, but Aoi... Aoi kept us all... kept all of us together with her magic touch. Magic touch? What's that? Mm-hmm. What do you think I mean? I wonder. Maybe she means, like, a healing touch? Treating everyone's wounds? Or wait, does she awaken us some sort of magical power while we were away? I could hardly imagine, but you never know. Um... <laughs> she healed everyone? Did she treat everyone's wounds? That explained why everyone trusts her so much. Oh, well, I guess you have a point there. Right? I was so... How do I put it? Devoted? Motherly? What? Takuma, you think of me that way? Well, yeah. That part of you's always a big help to the rest of us. Really? Me? Motherly? <laughs> I admit I'm a little flustered. Oh, for sure, that's our Mama Aoi over here. Just having her around gives everyone some peace of mind. You too, Saki? Jeez. Still, there's... That's not the magic touch I was talking about. Wait, really? Cooking! I'm talking about her cooking. She kept our bellies full with her food and our hearts at peace with her words. Ah, so that's what you meant. Glad to hear how good her food is. Nothing soothes the soul like a good food, good meal, like a good food. Owie sure knows her way around a stove. It's nothing. It's it's not like I whipped up anything special. I just made do with what we had. She's been so caring too. Did I tell you I had planned to go to the hospital after camping? Don't say that, Saki. It's fine, it's fine. The hospital? Is something wrong? Nothing major. But when we came to this world, all my plans for hospitals or surgery went up in smoke. And yet, because of this, I feel like I could do anything I want to, without holding back. Do you have any idea what that feels like, Takuma? I told all this to Aoi, and she's really sympathized with me ever since. Saki. Tasaki, who had. Tasaki, who had to worry about hospitalization and surgery. This treacherous world is a place where she can move freely. If she's been here supporting Aoi, I can see how they've grown so close. That was sweet. Who have we not talked to? I guess just Agumon by himself, right? I guess we'll have a conversation with him real quick. No one's here. He's literally standing right there. How rude. How rude, Takuma. Hey, Takuma. What is it, Agumon? Do you regret coming back here? Nope, not at all. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Really? Really and truly? What's with him all of a sudden? It's not a question I can easily answer. Still, what would Agumon say? Maybe I should give him some encouragement here. Really and truly. Of course! I came back to protect everyone of my own free will. Okay, if that's how you feel, then I believe you. Agumon seems a bit uneasy. Considering how things are going, I can't blame him. I... I have to do anything I can. Anything at all. That was the shortest conversation we've had this entire game, it feels like.
Ooh. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to leave this video off here for now. And then the next one, we'll go into the deep woods and maybe we'll find the professor, which I'm sure we will. Um, so I'm going to leave this video off here, but thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you in the next one. Later. I mean, I mean, we're just trying to chill. Show up.